Welcome back, Officers of Republic. Your course on Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines from another episode of AP Gaines at Night. Yes, I look like a creep, but we're going to get into other people's business. And that's my favorite thing, is to invade other people's privacy. So, in order to bless myself with some karma beforehand, I'm going to show you pictures of cute cats. Because now we're going to talk about everyone else in Galaxy of Heroes and why it sucks. All right, so we're going to use a fancy, fancy little tool called Social Blade. <laughs> Social Blade, for those of you guys who don't know, is just a very rough and rudimentary way to see how your favorite YouTubers are doing. So as you can see here, AP Gains uh, used to get about 2,000 video views uh, a month, and uh, and then about the same, and then about, and then we just exploded. Um, and, and then I took this month off, so we got half. And then we exploded again, and, and then I got a new job and went down. So we're going to talk about this little July to October area. And yes, for mine, mine's a little bit of an outlier because I just like stopped working because I started working. But what we're going to pay attention to most often is the subscriber numbers here for other creators. I see at the top, or you might not actually be able to see, we're going to look at Arnold's numbers, Cubs Van Han, Zareth, Heinzies, just for a couple of examples to see if there's an overlying or overarching trend in the Galaxy of Heroes community really quickly. And then the couple minutes at the end, we're going to talk about why this is happening. So subscribers are down massively. I mean, uh, 1100 to a thousand a thousand is about the average i just want you guys to know these numbers are for at least on my end are highballing um the last couple months i've gotten 500 subscribers a month we've basically stalled out uh so these numbers are making me look a little bit cooler than i actually am but um as you see here video views we're hovering at about i don't know like four to five k um on average some of them, as they go longer, as you see, this is like a two-week-old video, will you know get a crew a couple extra views, but there's still shitty videos in here. All right, the Grand Admiral. Um, the Grand Admiral usually, and now this is this is you know insane. Like he's not getting nine thousand subscribers a month anymore. I would say from my rough digging, averages about two thousand subscribers a month for about I would say the last year or so, as you see here, a thousand, three thousand, and two thousand across the board. So quite literally <laughs> from the beginning of the year averaging exactly 2,000 subscribers. Now, this is also a little low on his part, actually, but um, it's, let's just, it's, it's accurate enough, right? And as you see here, the last couple of months, we got little dips here with a nice little juicy spike back to the return, but definitely the Admiral um, getting 1,000 less subscribers a month is going to be an interesting point that we're going to take a note of uh, that will make sense when we look through some others. Now, him here, he's averaging probably 30 to 55 uh, K views just like my channel he has a couple of videos that go up into the 60s 70s you know mine don't go up in the 60s and 70s but uh, these tend to be streams versus like interesting things because you know unlike me he actually uploads videos that are interesting so they have a chance uh, you know to get a hundred thousand views or something like that but this is a far cry from you know maybe a little bit earlier where he was averaging like a couple months ago let's go back before the dip before the dip we're seeing like 70, 60, 50, you know, 76, 89. And then getting 39,000 views is, you know, when he does something that's just like Grand Arena highlights. All right. Now, Cubs Van Han is not super indicative of any recent Galaxy of Heroes trends, but rather um, the life cycle of a Galaxy of Heroes YouTuber. Um, you do really well. It's awesome. And then the game sucks and you kind of just, you know, get a real job like he did, like I did. And it starts to go down, down, down. Um, this is the way of the mobile gamer and the, you know, insert every single Galaxy of Heroes YouTuber that you used to watch, right? If they can't keep up, you know, with the constant demand for uploading two to three videos a day to stay, you know, in that comfortable range where you can make enough money to justify it to your family, they go do something more productive. And in Cubs Van Han's case, something, you know, that makes him happier, right? Um, and he uploads maybe once a week uh, with Heinze, but... You know, oh, there's there's my face right there. Damn, we couldn't even get him 6.9k views. I suck. All right, Zareth. Now this is an interesting one. Um, as you notice in a lot of these areas, um, not mine because I suck, but like Januarys tend to be good, except for the Arnold, <laughs> which is hilarious. He's kind of the outlier because Januarys tend to be big for people. As we see around Zareth, he huge explosion in views, huge explosion in subscribers followed by a little bit of a downturn, which happens pretty much every January. You start to regress to the mean, and then here we have him fallen a little bit lower. Now, for Zareth, the views at least, this comes, this coincides with him uploading a lot more, which is actually good. Uh, if you guys wonder why I upload three to, <laughs> like, two to four videos a day, 
it's because I know that my videos aren't interesting enough to get 30 to 40,000 views like the Admiral. So I have to make up for it in sheer volume, you know, getting one video with 10,000 views is the same thing as getting four videos with uh, 2,500 views, right? That's how, that's at least the AP gains, uh, Joseph Stalin strategy, uh, that we've seen implementing here, which is making it much more successful, which we love to see. Zara's a great guy, but then subscribers as we get down here, kind of regressing towards the mean, but not so much the graph, but let's go back a little bit and let's actually look at these subscriber numbers. For me, I would say across, let's say I started being relevant, like, I don't know, let's just call, let's call July, summer of 2021 when AP gains became relevant. You know, I would say the mean is around 12 to 1300 subscribers a month. So us getting below the mean is not at all alarming, um, but it does, as you see here, kind of indicate, well, not with Cubs and Han, he just loses a couple hundred every month, um, but does start to indicate a trend. And that's it. No new players are really coming into this game, right? Arnold's new subscriber growth for a long time used to be an indicator of the ebbs and flows of the game because every person who's going to watch Galaxy of Heroes is going to watch him first, right? His video production is better. He's more entertaining. He's got more stuff. Is there's no factor that his videos are not better than everyone else's at. So I usually use his statistics, you know, as I'm an evil genius and I've been secretly plotting my ascension to the throne for the last two years. I use a lot of his numbers to indicate the overall health of the community because as new players come in, like the new players are not coming in and the first thing they're going to watch is, you know, like, holy shit, this how extra 6.4% dodge on this Datacron with a Lord Vader Fennec counter with the BAM Datacron that no longer exists or might exist. You know, they're not watching high level stuff, right? They're watching informational, you know, entertaining, high produced videos that are actual good YouTube videos, unlike the rest of us, right? So him having a dip is a little bit alarming, but especially because it, well, skip comes in on, it coincides with a lot of other people, you know, 100 to 200 subscribers a month where, you know, he used to be getting, well, 500-ish, 600-ish, indicates that there's a lot less subscriber growth. Now, Heinze getting zero subscribers over the last couple of months um, might just because he doesn't upload that much, obviously. Um, but for Zareth, Zareth, Zareth uploads on a comparable level to me, right? So him dipping in subscribers is a little bit alarming. Now, all of this makes... <sighs> Like, if you were to show this to a mathematician or even a person with brain cells, wouldn't lead them to any sort of conclusion. But what it does do is kind of go inside, coincides with this overarching feeling that all of your favorite Galaxy of Heroes uh, content creators have been experienced, but also the players. You know, I, my hallmark or my claim to fame is that I interact with the community more than anyone else. The community is a little bored. They're a little sad. Obviously, Datacrons are not the best thing in the world. No one likes them. Um, GAC matchmaking is really pissing off lower players. All these guild changes that have been occurring uh, with new relic gates and stuff like that is pissing guilds off. It's, you know, some things are nice like mod quality of life, but I really feel like a lot of stuff has been hitting the mark. And I feel like the reason that you and all of your favorite content creators are feeling this over, this overarching sense of dread and despair is just there's not new players coming in to replace the players that are going out and the players that are going out just happen to be at a higher clip and now obviously that's because this game is super fucking old right like this isn't you know a couple of years ago in the 2019 to 2020 where you know you know Arnold's an enigma because this man's viewers don't even want to play the game <laughs> I talked to a lot of his viewers and him and a lot of his viewers don't even play the fucking game anymore like this is how you know you're a good youtuber when the number of people goes down and your views stay about the same because people actually want to enjoy your videos. But like, even over at Cubs Van Haunt, like I wish this could go back like a couple more years, 2018, 2019, 2020, like this game was skyrocketing, right? Like Cubs Van Haunt was pulling in, you know, a million, almost a million views a month at one point, right? If I were to pull up Arnold's from a couple of years ago, I mean, he's getting 4 million views. Mobile Gamer was doing crazy. A lot of the bigger content creators were doing crazy. But a lot of this is just, people are tired right there's nothing new and interesting is being added cg is making the game worse the community is burnt out and you know maybe we get a january spike we are approaching january january's tend as you see here tends to lead to spikes um even down here i mean <laughs> even january to february is a 2000 subscriber spike like it's not as big as it used to be but um january is approaching so 
you're a content creator, yay. If you're a viewer, maybe something interesting happens. I think that's going to coincide with a new TB that comes out, obviously. You know, CG doesn't do anything during December. So maybe once January hits, we get that new TB. Uh, the game will be fun again. We'll switch to a PvE focus and we can all have a good time and stop being sad and feel like the game that we love is dying. So, you know, just a worthless video with pointless numbers that, you know, if you hold even a little bit of a doubt to, don't hold up. But I thought it'd be interesting to kind of voice what everyone's been feeling with with stupid lines. So subscribe so that my subscriber numbers don't look terrible and my ego can continue to skyrocket and I'll, uh, I love you and I'll see you later.